Most people are throwing every peptide or research chemical into their stack and not knowing what does what. I would recommend stop chasing the kitchen sink protocol. Start with one compound that has some proven efficacy and then monitor the results and then layer in from there only if you need to. I'm trialing retitruotide this off season the same way. I pulled my baseline labs so I have a, to go off of starting with one, one thing, monitor results, and then I'll adjust from there. If I went ahead and started with MOTC, KPV, you name the other peptide or chemical, I wouldn't be able to troubleshoot if I did run into an issue and also know what has good merit and what's working. If you start with four different things, all of a sudden it works, you're like stuck on being on four things because you won't know what actually is the big player or what's not. And that's how you use an evidence first approach. So you have some type of data to go off of when you're making adjustments to your plan. Track, assess, adjust. It's exactly what we teach in J3U.